Hi, I'm Markia. Want to hear something scary? The Lady of White Rock Lake. In the waters of the South, there are urban legends that abound of ghostly women and bodies that are never found, like in this poem inspired by Christiana. It was a hot Dallas night when two lovers snuck out to set sail out of sight. See, their parents didn't approve, so they had to escape. This is the tale of the Lady of White Rock Lake. Racing against the dawning sun, they both prayed for luck against fate and pushed a boat into the water past the muck of White Rock Lake. See, they knew the danger, but it was the only way out. No matter the disappearances that grew stranger, getting to the roundabout road on the other shore and past the fabled lady of White Rock Lake. We're going to do whatever it takes. Together, we'll go on the run. Running out of time, then engine stalled before beginning to hum, and she smiled as they took sail over White Rock Lake, the dark and muddy waters of White Rock Lake, where you could see the reflection of the stones. And if you looked closely among the sticks, were bones of other lovers who couldn't escape the wrath and hate of the Lady of White Rock Lake. Foolish were the lovers to ignore the lore, unsuspecting of what destiny had in store. Dark water seeped beneath their feet, a voice creeped around them from a figure that came from the deep. You are somebody's ungrateful children. Skin decayed and rotten, in a ripped dress, this creature, a vengeful spirit of town, a betrayed mother, drowned daughter, and their lover. She was the Lady of White Rock Lake, and she was there to punish anyone who dared escape. The creature stabbed the lover through his heart. Foolish girl, this is your fate. As the boat sank, the lady wrapped the girl in chains and said, You're coming with me to the bottom of White Rock Lake. And they were never found. And through the country towns, it was said they were drowned by none other than the Lady of White Rock Lake.